Because you know the Dead Sea, why is it so salty? Because it's, it's the end of the Sea of Tetus. <laughs> it's the <laughs> end of Tetus. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, what's the meaning of it? Water can only come in. There is no drainage of water that leaves that basin of the Dead Sea. Um, the Jordan River only flows into the Dead Sea, but it doesn't continue. In the south, there is another river called the Rava flowing northwards uh, towards the Dead Sea. So it's, a, it's basically a tub, a sink. So water only can, can only come in. What's the only way for water to get out of the Dead Sea? Evaporation. By Evaporation. Ooh, and that's so a much year. smarter than you look, guys. A meter a year. <laughs> <laughs> so, what evaporates... Ouch. You like Ouch. <laughs> it's only the water. And all the minerals sink yeah. in. And most of it is salt yeah, and other right. minerals that are also kind of salty. So it turn, turned out to be so salty. Uh, that's the reason why. Today, uh, well, basically, like you said before, Tetis. What is the Sea of Tetis? So Does anyone explain? A gigantic ocean that was here. Exactly, a gigantic ocean that covered the entire area, uh, most of the world almost. <coughs> Um, and slowly, slowly, it also has evaporated and frozen into the poles, and I don't know where it went. Uh, but bottom line, that's what has stayed. So if you imagine it, the water level continuously, for millions of years now, has been going lower and lower and lower and lower. So the process of the Dead Sea disappearing, that everybody's shouting out these days, um, is a natural process that has only been... Um, became more rapid and intensive in the past few decades because of the industry in the Dead Sea. And the way they do it is basically they're speeding up the evaporation through a process I won't go into now. And if you want to come up to me later and I'll explain. But basically they're speeding up the evaporation process, more minerals sinking in, and so they can produce the minerals from the Dead Sea. This happens mostly in the southern basin uh, of the Dead Sea. Um, so water keeps going out on one hand or more rapidly and water has stopped coming in because the springs from Engedi, for example, where do they go? Bottles. Into bottled water, exactly, and into the stores. A lot of the water springs in the aquifer is uh, subterranean uh, water is being pumped up and used for agriculture and for um, drinking in this area. Um, in the Jordan, in the Sea of Galilee, there is a dam, the Ganya Dam, that closes and blocks the uh, flow of water from the Kinneret, from the Sea of Galilee to here. So there's basically water has stopped coming in and speeding up the evaporation, and this is why the uh, Dead Sea is slow or fastly disappearing. Today we'll see at least in two points um, how rapid the sea has. Um, has disappeared in the passing couple of decades. And what we see from here, if you look on the shore, you see all those little pools, sinkholes, bol anim, uh, that has been created in the passing decade or two. And the reason for that is, imagine this. There is salt and many other minerals in the soil that used to be under the Dead Sea. As the Dead Sea level went lower and lower, um, it took away all the water that couldn't that hold, that used to hold uh, the salt.